Hey guys, in this video I want to do a brief review of the top 5 antivirus programs for 2015. Let's start off with Avira. My personal experiences with Avira have not been the greatest, but it was a while ago since I last used it. All I remember is pop-ups, pop-ups everywhere. However, on CNET downloads, it has an average user rating of 4 out of 5 stars and the editor's rating is 4.5 out of 5 stars and it's ranked 5th in the free antivirus software category, so they must be doing something right. Features include malware protection, excellent virus detection, availability on multiple platforms, even iOS and Android for mobile devices, firewall and most other standard antivirus features. However, the CNET editor notes that the firewall is essentially the same as Windows firewall and there is no instant full PC scan button as most antiviruses have, which makes it a bit less convenient to use. AdAware Free Antivirus Plus is ranked 3rd on CNET Free Antivirus Downloads with 4 stars out of 5 voted by users. PCMag rated it as good with 3.5 out of 5 points. According to the PCMag review, the previous version of AdAware Free Antivirus Plus scored better in malware blocking. This is likely because Lavasoft, the company behind AdAware, changed their antivirus engine partner. The free version has a number of features including download protection, real-time protection, automatic threat updates, game mode that disables pop-ups and stuff when you are playing games or watching movies, malware and spyware protection, browser protection, as well as regular virus scanning and removal. Most of these features are pretty standard among most antivirus programs today. Adware Free Antivirus Plus is a fairly good choice, but not the best. Performance-wise, Avast is one of the best free antivirus programs out there, which is why it's ranked first on CNET in the free antivirus category has an average user rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars on both CNET and Amazon and the CNET editor's rating is 4.5 out of 5 stars as well. However, one thing I do remember about Avast and the reason why I decided to uninstall it was the pop-ups. At least one pop-up per day wanting me to upgrade or buy something. It gets really old after a while. Avast is a good free option if you can tolerate the pop-ups as they will only end when you upgrade to the paid version or switch software. Special features include home network security which scans your network for vulnerabilities like insufficient Wi-Fi encryption and then there's browser cleanup which removes browser toolbars and other unwanted add-ons. Other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good uh, free antivirus software. Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition is a very lightweight program with no ads, pop-ups or other nonsense cluttering the interface. In fact, most of it is run in the background. Bitdefender is under-advertised and underrated. On CNET, it's ranked 10th in the free antivirus software category with 3 stars and there isn't even an editor's review. PCMag did give it 4 out of 5 points though. However, performance-wise, Bitdefender Virus Detection is among the best. Features of the free version include real-time protection, active virus control, intrusion detection to block malware from accessing the internet, the Behave feature which detects if apps behave appropriately in a safe environment and blocks them if they are malicious, HTTP scanning which blocks scams like credit card phising attempts and Bitdefender also has rootkit detection. The reason why Bitdefender Free may be a bit underrated is because it is perhaps too lightweight. There aren't really too many configuration options and indicators to let you know what's going on. I know that's the reason I am not using it on all of my computers, but if you want a simple, lightweight and effective antivirus program, Bitdefender is definitely a good choice. 
For now, AVG Antivirus Free is my go-to antivirus software that I tend to use on most of my computers, and has been so for the past two years. On CNET, it's ranked as second in the free antivirus software category, with both an average user rating and editor's rating of 4 out of 5 stars. The AVG Free Edition offers many good features, good antivirus protection, malware protection and removal, anti-rootkit protection, automatic updates, link scanner which protects against phishing attacks, Android support for mobile devices, anti-spyware, privacy and identity protection, Wi-Fi guard that protects against fake Wi-Fi hotspots used by hackers, game mode and free phone support around the clock for those who might need it. The CNET editor's review said that they were turned off by AVG's aggressive advertising, but personally I have never had a pop-up or anything annoying from AVG, so either they must have changed it or CNET is a bit confused. Performance-wise, AVG is on par with other top antivirus programs out there. That combined with its many features, good interface and lack of ads or pop-ups makes it a winner for me. Alright guys, that's all I got for now. All the links are in the description. Uh, please feel free to leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the comment section below. And yeah, that's all I got, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later.